Hi there, I'm Kath. Welcome to WITS. And this week, we're going to be talking about proteins. Today we're going to be making an origami jumping frog. To make our origami frog, all you need is a square of paper. I've used green, but you can use whatever color you'd like. If you have origami paper, you can use that. Otherwise, just cut a regular piece of paper into a square. So the first thing we need to do is make our square into a triangle. So we're going to meet two points together and fold it into a triangle shape. Open it up again, turn it around, and do the same thing in the other direction. So meeting the other two points of our square to form a triangle. Open it up again, and now we're going to fold it in half, but instead of making a triangle, this one should make a rectangle shape. Now what we're going to do is put all those folds together to make it into a triangle shape again. So open it up, and what you're going to do is fold in on those folds that you've made on one side, and fold in as well. This is a kind of tricky bit, so you might need to practice a couple times. And we'll end up with a triangle shape that has two flaps on each side. Lay it down flat, and we're going to make the front legs. To do that, take the top flap on one side and fold it up. You'll fold it at a bit of an angle so that the foot sticks out from the body. Do the same on the other side. and you now have your front legs. To make the back legs, we need to turn it over and fold these flaps down. We'll go right from the tip into the middle and fold down, and the same on the other side. Now what we need to do is fold those back out again, but not all the way. We're going to fold them in half down that line on one side, and then on the other again, halfway down here, so that they meet up on the outer edge. We're almost there. Now we need to fold our frog in half. So we'll fold it about here, so that the back legs meet the front legs. Now what we need to do is fold the bottom half back down again. So about here, we'll fold it back down again. And your jumping frog is ready to jump. Flip him over and gently run your finger down his back and he'll jump. <laughs> Our bodies are made up of trillions and trillions of tiny little things we call cells. Inside those cells are lots of different proteins that do different jobs to make sure that our bodies work properly. To do that job, each protein has to be a very special shape. For example, hemoglobin, which carries oxygen through our body, needs to be the right shape so that oxygen can fit inside. If you think of a child's toy, you need to fit the square block into the square hole but it won't fit into the circle hole or into the triangle hole. Our proteins work in very much the same way. To get that special shape, our proteins are folded, very much like our frog. If it's not folded correctly, if we miss a fold or a fold is done wrong, those proteins won't be the right shape and they won't work properly. If we pretend that our frog is a protein and it needs to jump to be able to do its job, at the moment, it's working perfectly. However, if we miss a fold, for example, the very last one, we end up with a frog that's not the right shape and won't jump at all. It's the same with our proteins. If they're not shaped quite right, then they won't work. I hope 
hope you enjoyed making your jumping frog, and thanks for joining us. Be sure to go to the website, whatisthescience.com, and leave us your comments and subscribe for updates. We'll see you next week on WITS.